I feel like there's something in the way, and I want to clear it. If only you. <laughs> well, you've heard a lot here today. In other words, there's a lot that you've heard today that you didn't know when you were formulating this question for us. Yes? Mm -hmm. So what if there's nothing in the way? That's like you've planted a garden and there it is, dirt. And you're stomping on the ground saying, come out tomato, I want to eat you <laughs> now, right now. Well, I'll go ask Abraham. Abraham, <laughs> where's my tomato? I want it now. Yeah want it right now and we say well where is it and you say well it's in my vortex and we say do you trust that it's there and you say yeah I'm pretty sure I put it there and we say do you trust it's being nurtured and you say yeah it's in the vortex source is tending to it it's germinating it's coming to be in fact I have a sense that it's come to full fruition so what's keeping me from being able to just reach out and pluck it Right. And we say some things have to evolve within you and the biggest thing and we say this to all of you who have these so far unfulfilled desires you're not ready for what you're asking for and you know what happens to those like you you've become more deliberate about what you're asking for and you're not willing to settle for less and we don't want you to you don't want to settle for less you don't want to dig it up when it's only this big and hard and green you want it to be ready for you and you want to be ready for it so why not say when I'm ready for you and you're ready for me we will rendezvous and we will both know doesn't that feel good yeah. rather than saying where are you I can't find you what's <laughs> wrong with me what's wrong with you what's wrong with the universe what's wrong with law of attraction what's wrong with match.com what's wrong what's <laughs> wrong what's wrong what's wrong what's wrong if what you are asking for were to come to you right now sometimes you don't even recognize it in the same way do you get the concept do you understand we're asking all of you this matters a lot we'll talk further as we move forward can you feel the validity of this vibrational reality this vortex can you feel the realness of it yeah and if you can feel the realness of it can you accept that there is a vibrational frequency that is emanating from it it is describing itself vibrationally its beingness exists vibrationally it's like a hologram that hasn't come into full focus for you it exists it's a reality that you can't quite see if you can accept that it exists and that your work is to prepare yourself to see it prepare yourself to realize it we know we're asking a lot because you're accustomed to walking around the planet and seeing things that already exist I don't have to imagine this there it is it's been accepted as matter it's been accepted as wood someone's crafted it into a podium it doesn't take any imagination all I have to do is just use my physical focus and gaze upon it and what so many of you are saying is I would like my mate to stand over there next to the podium so that I can just gaze upon that person and we say you really don't you are a creator you want what you've put into your vortex and what has already vibrationally assembled you want to be in a place where you can realize it where you can translate it so you want to turn those thoughts to things well how do vibrations turn to thoughts and how do thoughts turn to things you receive impulses an impulse to go somewhere an impulse to be someplace an impulse to wait here rather than to move on an impulse to go with this friend even though it wasn't on your list of things to do earlier you find yourself following through with impulses because the impulses become more believable they become stronger they become surer they become so sure and so strong that to not follow them feels off that's what brought me here actually <laughs> if you could hear this and believe it and in order to believe something that you're hearing you just have to practice saying it until it feels natural to you if you could believe that your inner being knows where everything that you want is knows what it is knows where it is and knows the path 
of least resistance which means knows all the workarounds of your quirky belief system in order to get you to it so much so that your inner being might lead you to buy file folders at Staples <laughs> because there's someone there who knows someone else who knows someone else who knows someone else but if you go to get file folders and you come home and say there's never anybody good at Staples <laughs> then you're not as likely to receive the next clue and the next clue and the next clue and the next clue and the next clue and, next clue. and so it's like our friend started with us here this morning this habit of saying not here not here well it's not here well it's not here well it's not here it's not here it's not here it's not here it isn't here it isn't here it's not 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 here what's not here my lovers not here not here not here it's 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 not here I really want it's not here I want that so much it's not here Oh look, they're in love. Oh, God, they're in love. <laughs> oh, they're in love. Get a room. Will you get a room? <laughs> get a room. Get a room. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. I wonder if it's ever going to be here. I wonder if what I want will ever be where I am. It's not here. It's not here. Meanwhile, your inner being is saying, come over here, come over here. So you go over there and you say, it's not here. Then your inner being says, come over here. And you go over there and you say, it's not here. And so you got to just chill out. <laughs> you got to accept that your inner being knows where what you want is. So just start following impulses and stop noticing what isn't happening. Distract yourself from what isn't happening and what you want to happen will happen. You are the only one who throws resistance on your trail. Yeah. So get more general rather than saying it's not here. Say not here yet. That's more general. I don't know where somewhere not here, but somewhere. Can you feel how that somewhere? Yeah. I actually envision that it can come from any place like at any point or any time it could come from any place. So that part, I think I have clear. I think for me, there's an intertwine with the health and not being strong enough or something like that. I don't know. There, you can use something... any excuse you want <laughs> to throw more resistance on your trail, but it never helps. When you start making stuff up to explain why you're not getting what you want, the reason you're not getting what you want is because you keep making up stuff to explain why you're not getting <laughs> what you want. There's no reality other than the reality that you make up. So start telling a different story. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Don't you find yourself now that you're beginning to understand law of attraction and now you're beginning to understand how this works. Don't you sometimes find yourself in conversation with people that really don't get it and you're listening to them and you're thinking, you don't really even really get what you're doing to yourself. You just want to say, well, that's not relevant. Well, that's not relevant. And that's not relevant. Don't say it out loud because they think it's relevant. Don't say it out loud to them, but that's not relevant. That's not relevant. You're just making stuff up to get in your own way you're just making stuff up to get in your own way we're saying that to all of you you're just making stuff up to get in your own way for no good reason except that you feel like you need to explain why what you want isn't here and we say that's not a good reason to explain it's not here because I'm not letting it come in what kind of a reason is that and every time you explain why something's not here that's exactly what you're saying it's not here because I'm not yet letting it come in because I'm so busy talking about why it's not here that I can't let the airways cool off enough to let it creep in in other words if you would just be silent just for a little while just stop talking about things not going the way you don't want them to go or going the way you don't want them to go or not going the way you want them to go just stop talking about it for just a little while and in that absence of conversation more things can be orchestrated on your behalf so take lots of naps sleep really a lot when you go to bed at night say to yourself while I slumber my point of attraction is gonna subside and when you get up the next morning Try not to think about what you want. Maybe our friend that began here, he said, I just came from a philosophy and what they were teaching us is don't want anything. And every part of us wanted to scream <laughs> that can't possibly work because your desire will never go away. You will never stop wanting. 
but you could stop beating the drum of the absence of what you want. And in the moment that you stop beating the drum about the absence of what you want, what you want will show up and 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 show up. You should see the list of things that you want that are already completely culminated in your vortex. And you should see the length that source energy goes to, to line you up with clues about it. And if you would trust that just a little bit tomorrow, you'll say, found him. 